Andrea Joy Pearson, your host for AfroCon 2023. And I have someone very special with me. It is time we do a word on the street. So word on the street is AfroCon is coming. Can you describe AfroCon in five words or less? As the founder and the mastermind behind the event? Um, black excellence, black joy, all day. Every day. I love it. So in this, can you tell me what is your favorite part about Africa? Honestly, my favorite part is seeing people happy. Yes. Seeing people, meeting people that they didn't know were into a certain thing. Yeah. And making friends, making connections, and just happy. That's my favorite part. I love this so much. I can't wait for you all to come to this absolutely fantastic event that has so many special moments and ways that you can delve in and dive into your nerddom. So why don't we get into it a little bit? What are some of the things that people can get into at Africa? Okay, so the first thing is there are panels, presentations, and workshops. Mm -hmm. And... Among some of the panels, there are, well, there's one panel on Afrofuturism that mm -hmm. is led by uh, Joanna LaFleur Ichike mm -hmm. um, from the Malcolm X Foundation. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of our keynote panel conversations. Okay. Um, we are starting our AfroCon like we start every AfroCon with yoga and meditation. Yeah. At 9 o'clock in the morning. That's right. Um, there are you better get a line. There, <laughs> there are write there are writing workshops, creative writing workshops. Uh -huh. um, there are a couple of those. There's some drawing workshops. There are um, make and take activities that are going to be happening in the kids zone. So there's a whole yes, kids area. Yes. Um, the prototype lab at Metro is also offering workshops and tours. And this is Metro Community College. Metro Community College. Shout out Metro Community College. Thank you for letting us use the space. So the Fort Omaha campus has a prototype design lab. Oh. People are creating things in this space that are getting patents. Like they're making things. Oh, really? People are running their businesses out of the prototype lab because there's laser cutting machines, 3D printers, um, sublimation machines, and all sorts of other equipment that's already there. And it's open and available to the community. People just don't know it. that yeah. it's there. And for a nominal cost, you can go in, schedule your time on a piece of equipment, learn how to do it, and, and have stuff. And this is something that will be available at AfroCon on yes. October 7th. Okay, October 7th, come on out. We'll be out there most of the day, all ages. Everyone is welcome. Um, you can come dressed as you or you can come dressed in cosplay. There's going to be some different uh, contests that are going to be happening, some fashion shows that are going to be happening. And if you can participate in that if you want to, or if you don't, you don't have to. Just come out and celebrate who it is that you are. And in this the workshops, they'll be able to sign up for the workshops and learn how to use some of this equipment that's available for them even after this moment. And be able to walk away with something that is, you know, that they don't have to pay for. And they've also learned how to use the machine. Right. So, yeah. I love this. So not only can you get to bask and enjoy yourself and your community, you can also pick up a whole new skill in Africa. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this so much. Pick up a friend, pick up a skill, <laughs> and pick up a bite because there's also going to be food trucks. Yes, there are right? food trucks. Yes. Local vendors. Local vendors. I love it. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love. We have a whole vendor market that's going to be there. Yes. Who are some of the vendors that are coming out? Um, first, Nick Rivers, uh -huh. who designed this beautiful... Oh, Yes, Nick Rivers this is beautiful. there with his table of uh, of art. So come ready to, to buy and support local black artists. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Marcus Ross will be there, Water Bear Games. He has a game that he's going to be able to sign. So oh, Marcus, he has a game. Yes, Marcus is the co-designer, co I guess, what do you call him? Co-designer of a Lord of the Rings adventure game. Yes, it's a Lord of the Rings property. Yes. Oh, okay. And he is from Omaha. He will be at oh, AfroCon. Wow. So he'll have the game there. The game shop will be there at AfroCon vending. They will have games available. And this is a game you can really just purchase out and about. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to talk to them, make sure that they have a couple copies 
of his game because I think they have copies. Target had exclusive rights for Uh-oh. several months. Uh-oh. So it's just opened up at other places. And Marcus is going to be there in person to sign that oh, game. Oh, okay. Yes. You better come and get your game signed, okay? I'm going to need you to head on out to Target, pick up a game, and then come and meet the creator. How often is it you get to be able to hang out with the creator of an actual board game. Yes, and he will also be writing demos of the game because it's a whole board game area. Love it. So he's going to teach people how to play this game that he created. What are some of the other games that are going to be in the board game area? Um, I know that there will be well, Catan. Okay. There will be Catan, Ticket to Ride, and other gateway games. Um, I do I'm not going to front with you. I don't know what Catan is, okay? But oh, I will be willing yeah. to learn it. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. You, can, okay. you can find out at AfroCon because there will be some people from NewCon. They are one of our partners. They will come. And this is a board game convention. Okay. And some of the volunteers and board members will be there at AfroCon to right. teach people how to play games. So you don't have to worry about coming and I don't know how to play this game. I don't want to read the directions. This is going to take too long. Somebody is beat, will be there. Uh huh. To, to help, help you, out. but I, I need that James game. Listen, let me show you how to play this Listen, game. Listen, I I need that. And you know what? I don't know if we said it before. This is Jade Rogers, okay? <laughs> the Jade Rogers. I need that Jade because, like many people who may come to Africon, I can't say that I in my life have played a lot of games. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. This is me diving into my nerddom, okay? Mm-hmm. Celebrating my nerddom and learning more. So if this, if you are someone who is similar to me in that capacity no you won't be by yourself you'll be there learning with other people it's a safe space to come out and play new this year esports oh okay we're getting digital so mcc oh made me feel like i'm in tron okay so, metro community college has mcc esports league mm-hmm. and they will be coming to set up 10 gaming laptops and switches Oh, so that people can have there's some open play, but there's also a couple of tournaments. One tournament that I know that actually has a cash prize is Smash Brothers. Now, listen, I have not had a lot of experience with Smash Brothers, but I do like to smash some cash, okay? So I'm gonna have to get in there and get that thing done. All right, if you think you can beat me, I suggest you come out and try. And you know what? That's not all. As we've talked about all of these different things, one of the things that I'm really excited about is some of the play readings that are going to be happening. Yes. So there will be three plays, two or one act plays, and one is going to be an abbreviated just a sampling of the play. But there are three black playwrights that are all writing in an Afrofuturistic vein Mm. and one has to do with uh african fairies Mm -hmm. so uh those will all be at at afrocon this year i love it because there's three of the panels that are and one of them is called the golden lock right yes Yes. oh i'm I'm very excited and prentice is from right here in Omaha? I don't know that he's from Omaha, but he had a fellowship at the Union. Oh, so he spent some time in Omaha. Yes. Okay, well, if you spent some time here, we, we accept you, okay? We love on you. That's what it's about. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about is that there are going to be meetup groups throughout yes. the experience. Yes. So on the schedule, along with the panels and presentations and workshops, there'll be meetups. The meetups are informal gatherings of people who like a thing. Mm-hmm. So, Star Wars, Star Trek, Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. Bridgerton, and they clone Tyrone. Oh, because LX and, and our, our podcast, our live stream, we have not talked about these things yet. Uh-huh. So, I wanted to have a space to talk about they clone Tyrone, and it fits perfectly with Africa. Wow. So, we already talked about it earlier. There's going to be panels, but there's going to be panels about things that are just really relevant that are out right now. I just watched They Clone Tyrone, and it is it is really good. Leaning into Afrofuturism right now is so exciting. It's so entertaining. It's so inspiring. And to be able to do it, not just in your own mind, in your own writing, in your own play, but to do it with the people around you who also are into these things, I think there's nothing else that's like it. And you know what, Jay? As much as we talk about, I guarantee you there are some things that we have forgotten on here. I guarantee uh, you that because there's so see. many things at AfroCon that you can do. Did and you say get your tickets? 
Well, that's a given. You got to get your tickets okay. if you want to get into all of you this. You have got to get your tickets. Okay, what are you waiting on? Oh, you deserve this. The cosplay contest. Yes. So there are two things. There I'll be right. Is the cosplay contest mm-hmm. at two o'clock, mm-hmm. but also at two o'clock just before that will be the fandom inspired fashion show. Yes, yes, yes. So the fandom inspired fashion show are for people that are not quite ready to dip their toes into a full cosplay contest or cosplay costume. Okay, can we talk about the differences between those? So a cosplay is taking a character or um, something from comics, from movies, from anime, from anything really, uh-huh. and doing a full representation of that character yeah. head to toe. And not like a not necessarily just a costume that you got at the store, but the the hair, the makeup, mm. the clothing. Cosplays often people will buy certain things, but they also make things, mm. components and accessories to go with mm-hmm. their representation of that character. Oh my goodness. So cosplay is, it doesn't have to be a lot, yeah. but it can be. It just depends on how much work people want to put into it. The difference between that and the fandom-inspired fashion is fandom-inspired fashion just clothes. Okay. So it's, if I liked Black Panther mm. and I have a Black Panther t-shirt right? and I have some black slacks or jeans or something okay and i have some black shoes right and i got a cap or something that's black panther and i've got some black panther earrings okay and maybe i got a bag okay well, that's you not know, like on your fandom is fire play is getting heavy out here but, but that's but, all just just clothes right but you're not an actual character i'm not an actual from, character no I'm just wearing the thing universe. that I really like. That show I have, my love. I have some Black Panther accessories. I'm just going to do that. I love it. Okay. I love it. Somebody asked me yesterday, they liked Moana, but they didn't want to do a full cosplay representation of Moana. I said, take the colors. Mm. Take the colors that she wears. Mm. Wear the shirt, wear the sweater, wear some slacks, wear some shit. Mm. You know, just wear the colors and then let people figure out, oh, wait a minute, you're wearing a color palette mm. that reminds me of everybody. <laughs> and maybe you have one Moana accessory. Right. Maybe you have a button or a pin or, you know, something. Uh, okay, so that's going to be starting the fashion show with that where you can just strut your stuff yeah. if you're showing off really kind of what you're into, showing off your personality in that, in saying that like, hey, I like Star Wars, hey, I like Star Trek. It's one of those things where you can say, I'm just, I'm coming out just a little bit, you know, I'm dipping my toe in the water a little bit. I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid to say what it is that I'm into. And when you get into the cosplay contest, that's when you say, Honey, we are here, okay? I ride, I ride for my X, Y, and Z. I ride for my show. I ride for this character. I completely understand why she did everything that she did. And we do have some people that in the past have come in cosplay that is a character that they created. Oh, that's, that's still cosplay. You may have to explain to people what it is. Right. Well, of course you are. I came out your mind, but yes. But yeah. <laughs> That, Whoa, that's, that's amazing. Acceptable too. We had, I remember the first AfroCon, we had a young person. I know her name. I'm not going to say her name. But she came as a character that she created. Mm-hmm. That is really exciting. Yeah. But all of that really says, come any way you want to come. Mm-hmm. You, are, you are welcome to show up. There is a space for you. There is a lane for you. There is a tribe for you. There will be other people who are interested in some of the same things that you're interested in. It's not always in our day to day that we get to have uh, the opportunity to be around people who like to play in similar ways that we like to play. And what Jade has really provided here with AfroCon is about 35 different ways to play. So try one thing out, then try another. And you know what? Go and try another. It's like a festival of Afrofuturism. It is. And the theme this year is making space to dream. Mm. So we literally want to do that. Mm. Provide that space for people to mm. think outside of which you have to think oh, about. Oh, that's every good. Day. That's good. That's good. Making space to dream on October 7th. If you don't have your ticket, get your ticket. And you know what? Get your ticket. Get a ticket for, for one of your friends to come. Get a ticket for 
um, your kids to come with you, get a ticket um, for someone that you want to be able to provide a ticket for someone who may not have the funds to be able to purchase a ticket. We have a, a general admission ticket is $25. Mm -hmm. um, our youth tickets, K through 12, are $10. Mm -hmm. We do have a generous ticket if you would like to make a donation because we would like for Afrocon to be a fundraiser for the House of Afro's Capes and Curls. Mm -hmm. And that's $50 if you just want to be able to support someone else coming. Mm -hmm. So that's already on the platform. We also have a silent auction. So these are some of the things that will be in the silent auction. This is a game, a game pack uh, that was given to us by Our Family Plays Games, who is one of the sponsors of the board game area. And it is full of Catan. And they will be there to teach you how to play it if you purchase this package. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a wellness package. We have a black owned restaurant package. Oh. We have an art package that's full of things from local artists. So we have lots of things that are available to do and to purchase. And, and just lots support. of ways to support and give back. Yes. Right? So lots of ways for you to fill your cup and help fill the cups of the people that are around you. October 7th, get your ticket. We are so excited to play with you, be inspired by you, and to see your creativity shine. So take a moment out to go to AfroConOmaha.com and get your ticket today. I'm your host, Andrea Joy, and this is your creator, Jade Rogers. Thank you, Andrea Joy. You're welcome, Jade. Ha, ha, ha.